good morning everyone hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend so far um, oh we have our GPS issue let's see how it handles having the maps not even close to being accurate <laughs> obviously our speed is wrong too because it thinks we're on the highway um, definitely don't want to be going <laughs> 50 mile an hour <laughs> um, or 55 but um, to all the new subscribers welcome I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you being here. Um, this is probably a little bit different of a take. Okay, so clearly my GPS hasn't locked on yet this morning. This issue probably won't be that much of an issue realistically for a robo taxi because if a robo taxi is going, it's always going to have the GPS locked on. Um, it's when it sleeps. My car, you know, is sleeping all night and it hadn't locked on the GPS, being underneath the carport, all that stuff. And so now it just is locked on now, so now I can enable it, and it should go through. But this channel is probably a little bit different than the other ones. I speak by mind a little bit more, I suppose, I don't know. Uh, everyone has a unique taste, and it's, it's, I'm just glad you appreciate my take on how the car's driving. So interesting the blinker is late at least it turned the blinker on but it was completely late um that this is new with this update in terms of the blinker it's it's way better on this update with the blinker and this merge on the highway is substantially better yes that is probably the best um yeah, I'd say the best merge it's ever done on that spot, uh, for sure. That, uh, it is something with this new update, I guess, how it sees uh, the, the lane lines on that merge uh, ramp is substantially better than what it has been. And it is a very good improvement. does here and it should be slowing down already much sooner. That was not good. Um, should have got over sooner. I wish you could could have seen the cars behind me how they got over. They got over like back there where I would um, uh, at the same time I got over. Not sure that what that was. Looks like it's all. I was not sure what that was. Just trying to stop at yield sign still. I think I'm taking off the person next to me. They're trying to pass me. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't stop at yield sign still. Oh, it was trying to run that red light. Uh, it hasn't tried to do that in a long time. Uh, yeah, because it thought because these green lights right here, it did that when I first had traffic light control. It did that, uh, but it um, the entire beta surprisingly never ran that uh, light. I mean, obviously it didn't now, but it definitely was close. To, it they want it thought about it. That's for sure. So historically, this drive has had, I think, three ever zero disengagements the entire time. So, so far, so good. Uh, the map, the GPS thing, I really don't count, especially because it's so close. Um, it's just because it's, 
it, it, it literally, if I just was more patient and let it lock onto the GPS before I got out onto my road, it wouldn't be an issue. So that's why I don't count that. It's because it's, it, it's just because, yeah, the, the car GPS, it's not, I, I count disengagements based on how the car is driving, not based on the, the map being all wrong and screwy and it thinks it's in the wrong area. Um, it's based on driving mechanics is what I value most. Now having the car turn, just not follow the navigation route was also a problem to me. So I pressed the accelerator there so it didn't slow down as much. It was slowing down too much for that car turning out. Okay, it turned the blinker on to get over, but there's no reason it should get over um, when you look at this traffic up ahead. So it shouldn't be doing that. It tried, it braked for that car that went out in front of me. I don't know what, that's new behavior with this version. Uh, it seems odd that it would break for that car. It's like it was trying to maintain the distance. It's like it's more strict on maintaining the distance now. What needs to happen here is we go from a 45 mile an hour down to a 20. And the car just does not slow enough. So right here, look, this is not improved over the last one. I said in my previous video it might have been improved, but it is certainly not. It should be slowing down much quicker. And the only reason it's slowing down more now is because of this curve in the road. And now because of the light. I've, I've let it go its own speed. And I was still going 35 through this light here. And it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit right here. So it's just like you have to scroll down way far in advance to get it to slow down. And I feel like the reasoning behind not slowing down fast is so when you have these weird speed limit changes where it go like it, the speed limit's wrong and it goes from like 35 to 40 back to 20 all of a sudden on one like one short area it's not jerking the speed up and down that's what the beta used to do uh when i first got it uh but no that's gonna be a disengagement go ahead and record that it's a no turn on red so we can't turn here still have to turn the blinker on but um well we're only gonna count that as um one one disengagement there unfortunately because we were first it counted as a disengagement uh there's only been one time where it didn't try to turn right there uh and i have a feeling it's gonna be it's probably gonna be next year before they start reading signs like that if i had to make a guess if i had to make a educated guys it's probably gonna be next year before they actually start reading those type of signs and will acknowledge hey don't turn right on red and it tried to stop for this blinking yellow it hasn't done that in a long time so that's a regression on this version I'm pressing the accelerator to get to go around this truck it seems more timid about trying to get around vehicles and that's why it shouldn't. It tried to change lanes in the middle of the intersection there. I like how it has this um, blue shading here, so you can actually see what the car is thinking, what where it's trying to get in the lane. So I didn't record the video, but those two lights I just went through. Uh, one was uh, this one above me was red, and then the one behind me was green, and it tried to run the red light uh, the other week. So it still has issues with detecting whether or not a light is red or not. So it, that's the disengagement. It should stay in this lane. It got in the correct lane. I was about to say, hey, it got in the correct lane this time. That is the wrong lane. This is the first time I'm having to force it to stay in this lane because it keeps on trying to get into the wrong lane now. So that's the disengagement. It needs to stay in this lane. Because our destination doesn't use this lane. 
you can see it ends right here and our destination is right here this is not the end of this video we'll be back once i make a quick pick stop and we're back at it so let's see so analysis of this drive so far i think it's because we've had a little bit more traffic but it's it's not an excuse um there's obviously much more disengagements than previous drives. They're obviously making changes um, to how things react. There are some good improvements in some areas, but then other uh, downgrades, uh, such as we saw a lot of those um, lane changes, it tries to figure out what lane it wants to be in, which is wrong. It's, they're making logic changes to how it decides what lane to be in. And obviously by the... Wow! What? <laughs> what? The first time has ever done that. Um, I wish I, I didn't press the video button when we went through the other intersection, unfortunately. But um, they, like, I just... Wow! <laughs> this is not good. This is terrible, everyone. That's the, It's being assertive to get into the wrong lane now. Not just like, let me casually drift into the wrong lane. Um, yeah, so this is a absolute 100% downgrade. This is really disappointing. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping everyone, this is not how my drive go today. So, um, the rest of these videos, we're going to go to Asheville today to do some of those videos. I'm really hoping this is not how this goes. This is, uh, this is quite terrible. Every single one of these, way worse than any previous update. This is the worst it's ever been. It keeps on, re it, it literally keeps on regressing on this route. Uh, 8.2 was one of the best that's ever done this. 8.2. That was this time last year. This time last year. A year ago, it was better. I need to make the comparison video. Hold me to it. Um, I have the video. And I can and obviously I can get it edited. It just takes a, it takes a lot of time. Uh, and we'll we'll compare it. And maybe I'm just overreacting and I'm not I'm misremembering, but. It definitely seemed to do this route better on 8.2. Now, the reasoning of why it's doing worse, I'm trying to trying to explain in my brain why it's doing worse right now. It's because of the um, sorry, it's gonna do it. Wow. <laughs> okay, let me explain that here in a second. The reason in my brain is that um, it's recalibrating everything. It's changed the way it does lane change logic and lane detection logic, and this version, drastically different than previous versions, and so now it has to relearn everything. So that's my hope, is that in a couple versions, this will be much better. We'll see, we'll see if I'm right. But um, yeah, otherwise, um, you're gonna actually get in the lane? Okay, so you'll notice that the previous one where I was like, um, I was like, basically, hold on a second, I'll explain. Um, okay, so that's going to be the end of this route, everyone. So that's um, very good. Let me explain before I, have, before I get... So that, that last um, uh, entrance that we passed, that it made, I was like, huh, wow. Um, it always would get in that turn lane. This is like the first time it hasn't. So like, I, <laughs> I don't know if I, irony is the right word, I don't know. But um the other lanes it would just mess up every time and then the lane is always messed up on it actually did it right so like go figure don't know um it's something to do with how they, they designed their logic it definitely was able to see further ahead on that lane line which is odd that it didn't see the other turn lanes i, I, I don't quite understand what the logic is there um but yeah uh this drive is clearly a downgrade overall uh, from 10.10, uh, 10. Uh, but I'm going to give the excuse that they're trying to retrain everything. This is going to happen over and over again. Make that very clear that just because this is a downgrade doesn't mean the system isn't getting better. It's going to happen every, uh, every single time they make a substantial change. It's going to be worse at first. And then they're gonna analyze all the disengagements. You're gonna be like, okay, let's figure out why they're disengaging now. Um, and then they're gonna reevaluate, re um, put that data back into and make a new neural net, and it's gonna get better. That's what that's 
they're gonna have a feedback loop. That's, that's what's gonna happen every single time. But um, if you guys have any questions for me, put them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.